Hello guys, welcome back to yet another review video. In this video, we'll review Oxygen OS Open Beta 2 for OnePlus 7 series. I'll try to cover all the issues what you guys have been facing on OnePlus 7 series after updating your device to Android 11. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro which is currently running on the latest Android 11 build which is Oxygen OS Open Beta 2. And two days back I created a poll asking about bugs, asking about what all bugs you have been facing. We got approximately 1.8k votes in which 50% users said they don't have any kind of issues on Open Beta 2. But other 50% had lots of issues and we have around 170 plus comments on that post. So first thing let me tell you guys, if you are facing too many bugs on Android 11 for your OnePlus 7 series, then once make sure to perform a factory reset by going to recovery and also wipe your internal storage. Hopefully that should fix lots of bugs. Because even I haven't faced major bugs yet, few minor bugs are there which can be easily ignored in daily usage. And also guys, always on display is still not added on OnePlus 70 and OnePlus 7. It's only available for OnePlus 7 Pro and 70 Pro. So wait for the next build, hopefully OnePlus should add this feature on all the variants of OnePlus 7. So first bug which I noticed on Open Beta 2 was related to auto brightness. In indoor condition, we don't have any issues related to auto brightness. But once you go outdoor under direct sunlight, auto brightness seems to be pretty low. So let's see if OnePlus gonna fix this in the upcoming builds or not. Still we get to see loading of photos whenever we open gallery. So this is a bug which is available on almost all OnePlus devices running Android 11. We just need few more optimizations in regarding to gallery bug. People have also been complaining about the canvas feature not working. So guys there are two workarounds to make it work. One is either perform a factory reset if you haven't and the second one is you need to manually install the latest canvas APK on your device. That should probably fix all the issues of canvas. And that might be an issue with RAM management. RAM management will slowly improve in upcoming updates. There's not much of delay, but yes, slight delays can be seen while opening few apps. Also users have been reporting issues related to the notification panel that they see slight lag while scrolling down the notification panel, but I haven't encountered any kind of such issues. Also haptic feedback is th not that accurate. I think it requires slight optimizations if I compare it with Oxygen OS 10. And I've also noticed that Dolby Atmos feature is not working. There's also an issue with the Bluetooth as you can see here in this video. My OnePlus Bud Z notification keeps popping up. Wideband security level have also been downgraded. On Android 10 it was L1, but now you can see here security level has been downgraded to L3. Few users are also reporting issues related to double tap to wake is not working. But that's not the case on my OnePlus 7 Pro. I have no issues in waking up my device with double tap. I don't have any kind of issues with the ambient display or lift to wake. We also got lots of comments regarding the bubble support. So guys, one thing I would like to tell you, bubble support is not available on Oxygen OS 11 on none of the devices. Till now, this feature doesn't even work on my OnePlus 8. So we need to wait for OnePlus to fully implement this feature on Oxygen OS 11. On Beta 1, I noticed slight issues with the sensors, but on Beta 2, I don't have any kind of issues related to sensor. All the sensors are working great like accelerometer, light, proximity, compass and gyroscope. And there were few comments that whenever they get notification, they only see the app name in notification panel instead of the entire message. But I don't have any kind of issues here on my OnePlus 7 Pro. I'm able to see the message in the notification panel. And this issue might have occurred if you guys have enabled bubble feature from the app settings. So as I said, bubble feature is not working. You can disable that feature, then you'll be able to see the messages in the notification panel. And we also got a comment regarding 4K videos not being played in gallery application. But that's not the case. Here you can see this is a 4K video and I don't have any kind of issues playing this video. So guys, these are the few issues which I personally noticed on my OnePlus 7 Pro. If you guys facing other issues than what I have mentioned in this video, then do perform a factory reset from recovery. And to perform a factory reset, just go to about section, tap on the build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. After that, go to system, developer options, and from here enable advanced reboot. But before performing factory reset from recovery, make sure to take an entire backup of your device. Once you have enabled advanced recovery, long press the power key, tap on these three dots and boot to recovery. After your device boots into recovery, select language, tap on wipe data and caches and select erase everything. This way you can format your entire device. And do this after installing Android 11. 
Now let's also take a look at the camera quality after this update. So here we have few samples which I clicked after updating the device. In normal lighting condition I don't find any kind of issues with all three lenses. Picture quality seems to be decent. These are few portrait pictures clicked and I feel that slight improvements are required when it comes to edge detection. In regards to performance of night mode, I don't have any kind of complaints. But I would suggest instead of using stock camera, use Google camera application for better nightscape photography. So overall I have no complaints regarding the camera performance. Yes, it can be optimized more, but we have to wait and watch how OnePlus does that in upcoming builds. Now talking about the battery part, well lots of users have complaints regarding it. First of all, if you guys are experiencing slow charging speed, then I would recommend you guys to turn off this feature of optimized charging until OnePlus fix that slow charging issue. Here we have screen on time of 3 cycles after my normal usage. On first cycle, I got 4 hours and 3 minutes of screen on time and this was with 90Hz and always on display was turned off. On second cycle, again with 90Hz, I got 1 hour and 59 minutes screen on time. This was with always on display turned on. And OnePlus have already mentioned that using always on feature will drain extra battery. So AOD is still not fully optimized on OnePlus 7 series. On third cycle I got 4 hours and 6 minutes. Still I had 46% of battery remaining. This was with 90Hz refresh rate turned on and always on display was turned off. And then here we have the overnight battery drain and the charging speed. On day 1 I noticed 31% of battery drain wherein I turned on always on display throughout the night. On day 2 I noticed 8% of battery drain in 10 hours with always on display turned off. And talking about the charging time, device takes 1 hour 33 minutes to charge from 15% to 100%. On Android 10 it hardly used to take 1 hour at 15 minutes or 1 hour 20 minutes. But in the last screenshot you can see device have already been charged to 77% and time remaining still says 46 minutes. So yes guys there are lots of issues related to battery drain, battery backup and charging time. Hopefully OnePlus fixes all these issues in the upcoming builds. Last but not the least let's also talk about the performance part. So as per my usage RAM management is pretty good. I get to see between 4.5 to 5 GB of RAM usage out of 8 GB. So that seems to be decent. And also we had lots of comments regarding overheating of device while doing gaming. So yes there are slight issues device overheats while playing games like PUBG with higher graphic settings. So if your device is heating up a lot then I would recommend you guys to lower the graphic settings. Right now this is only the solution to avoid overheating of the device. But other than that I did not find any kind of issues while gaming. Device was performing good and was able to deliver between 85 to 90 fps throughout all the gameplays. And here is a small gameplay if you want to take a look. So guys this was a complete review of Oxygen OS Open Beta 2. Hopefully I have covered all the comments and if I missed out any of your comments then do let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to provide solution if it's possible. So guys as of now only this much in this video. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.